Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Currency Hunter 88. It's been about a uh, month since uh, I last uploaded and uh, we're going to change that right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be back. We're going to have uh, videos coming out soon. We're going to get a uh, regular upload schedule. It's just been hard with uh, school and everything recently, all the homework. And then like I was going to do a box of nickels, but then I got sick. So it's really just, uh, you know just took a little break from the hobby you know obviously i still haven't cleaned a lot of it up but a lot of the coins up but oh well so this video is going to be about should you save your modern s mint mark coins and these are s mint mark coins that are old such as these like 68 s nickels um some pennies Let's see if i can find one yeah see so there's right here we got a, a 1972 s so we're going to be talking about should you save these, should you hoard these, you know, should you be keeping these for your collection. And uh, the short answer, in my opinion, is yes. Um, I will say that I do not see a lot of SMIT mark coins that much. Um, obviously, in dimes, quarters, half dollars, you either have a proof or a silver if you're finding an SMIT mark coin. So it's... You know, to find those is just hard. Now, I will say, though, that the Mint today still makes S Mint coins for circulation, but they put the Denver Mint mark on them, similar to the uh, West Point Mint makes coins for the Philly Mint. So basically, the San Francisco Mint makes, like, these Denvers. Like, if I just find a random Denver penny, this could have been made at San Francisco, but they put the Denver Mint mark on so that people don't save them since they don't make as much as the Denver Mint. Same with West Point. If they would put the uh, W Mint mark on all these coins, uh, people would hoard them because they don't make as much. They kind of just help the Philadelphia Mint. So it's, you know, just so that people don't hoard them and that the coins actually stay in circulation and they're not anything special. So... It's basically that. But yes, I do think that you should be saving your S Mint Mark coins that are old. Obviously, if they're old and silver or a proof, you want to save those for sure. But if it's something like this or even the uh, Susan B. Anthony dollars, like if you get a 79S, um, an 80S, an 81S, definitely save those too. So yeah, this is just a short discussion that I wanted to have. Thought it would be a cool video. Um, I think a lot of people have this question, so it would get like a little more views than my other videos. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos back. And I know this is short, but yeah. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you uh, disagree uh, that I shouldn't save these or like that other people shouldn't save them. But I think that everybody should be saving their estimate mark coins no matter like the circumstances if they're for circulation not for circulation you know old proof just save all your estimate marks that's my short answer so yeah we'll see you in the next video and happy hunting thank you for watching